University of Students. I'm Cora. Um, I'm in eighth grade and I go to 678. And I'm going to be doing today's Daily Devo drama. So I'm going to be reading a verse. It's one of my favorite verses, actually. And it's Romans 519, and it reads, For just as through the disobedience of the one man, the many were made sinners, so also through the obedience of the one man, the many will be made righteous. The beginning part talks about um, Adam and Eve's disobedience, which brought sin into the world. But the second part talks about Jesus' obedience, which created us worthy again to be in the presence of God. And today, I'm going to be talking about obedience. So, for us, there's a lot of different people we can be obedient to. The most common people would be um, our parents, other adults, like maybe teachers. Um, but we also want to be very obedient to God, our Creator. Um, being obedient has many perks, but it's beneficial to you as well as to others. When Jesus was beneficial to God, um, it, it other people earned the reward. It was beneficial to everybody who would accept um, God into their lives. And Jesus gave up his will and sacrificed himself and his will to follow God's will. And he was showing obedience. And that's how we want to be. When we're obedient to God, we, we start to lean on him and trust him more because we can see that he knows what he's doing and that opens up more opportunities for us to be obedient um, and then it leads to change where we can change inside of ourselves but then we can also change um, life for other people like when we are obedient to God and we share his word we um, may be changing somebody else's life because they'll be um, living now in the love of the Lord so obedience goes to opportunities and opportunities goes to change and our obedience and trust is what we build our life on. We want to practice what we preach. So if we talk about being obedient, we want to be obedient so we can set the example for other people. We also want to think about the fact that risks bring rest. When we take risks, even when it's scary and we obey God, we're building our faith in the fact that God knows what he's doing and he has a plan. And we can sit and have peace in that because we know he is working for the good of us. So when we're here right now in this pandemic and we can't leave home and we can't go see our friends um, and it's boring at home. We just know that this is a part of God's plan and so we want to listen to what God's calling us to do right now. We want to be obedient and show him that even though we can't come together physically as a church, we're still here together obeying God and listening for what he's calling us to do. So I just wanted to give that message to you guys today. I hope you um, liked it. And make sure you come back tomorrow for next for tomorrow's next um, daily diva drop.